see. Oh, what kind of a forest is this? Oh, we didn't come for that. We came for this. No comment. No commentary. Excuse me. I'm speaking French too long. You see, this is almost like the layers or the foundations of a pyramid here. And this is the mayor's office of Hindelbank. Yeah. And there it is, the obelisk. And the Freemasonry triangle. Let's have a closer look. Oh, well, there's the obelisk with a little pyramid on here. See, it's not enough. And the triangle. So they're three big pharaonic symbols on a key position. And there's the water. So it says in the Bible that the, uh, the beast, the revelations of John, the beast had seven heads and ten horns. Well, let me tell you this, Switzerland has seven presidents and they divide ten ministries, ministries among each other. So you see, and they finance every war. And those Swiss, you still got the Swiss guard, the Pope's guard, and the Sisters of Isis. And those Swiss, they wrote the Malias Malificar and they, they burned women all over Europe. And those Swiss mercenaries terrorizing the whole of Europe and the Ku Klux Klan. You know, the Ku Klux Klan is on a red underground with a white cross in there. Yeah. So this is the center of evil, Switzerland. Yeah, that proves. And the beast had seven heads and ten horns. We have seven presidents who divide ten ministries. And another one. There's a very big concentration of pharaohs here in Hindelbank, Bern, Switzerland. And another one. Next to the uh, Vichy family that rules the whole, the whole town actually. And this one here is of uh, 1780 you see with the Templar's horse there was somebody sitting on top but they took it away or probably two persons yeah everywhere in this country everywhere now this all here this is the female prison of uh, Hindelbank there's the entrance there barbed wire, the whole lot, and this is the old castle, there they have the, uh, the offices probably. You see the sun hieroglyphics on the wooden panels next to the windows, the triangle, the Templar's cross on it. I'm not going nearer because you got all sort of police crawling on you, you know, if you go nearer. So, yeah, talking about, it, well, it's full of uh, foreign women, a lot of South Americans. This is the Swiss female prison. Yeah. Well, Swiss banksters don't come in here. Or Swiss criminals. They stay outside. And then here on the other side, this is the, uh, the mountains behind there. It's called the Jura. And Jura like in Jurassic Park, Jura is an old Celtic word and it means the Black Forest. And it goes into the Black Forest all the way north there to, into Germany. Ju is the word for forest, like in old French, la joue. And ra, it means uh, black. And they found a lot of uh, fossils actually here. And that's why they called the, uh, the period, the uh, prehistoric period, they call it uh, Jurassic period. And the name... Jurassic Park of the film, the Spielberg film. Well, it's all called after this mountain ridge here. Well, in Scotland too, they have the uh, the Isle of uh, Jura. It's all Celtic, means Black Forest. So this is the famous Swiss Emmental, where they where the chase is from. Well, it's just a little part of it, of course. 
And this is the big prison, a high security prison in a castle again. Yeah. This part you never get out anymore. There's the... Uh, if you've got a prison sentence here more than five years, they can put you here, in here for life. And it's the uh, psychiatrist which will, uh, on whom it will depend if you get out or not. And this is the, uh, the other part of the prison. They put me in that cell there. I was in here. They put me almost a year in prisons here because I opened up my mouth. Because I'm filming. I'm not a criminal. My whole life I kept away of criminals and crime. I never did anything wrong and they put me in here. This was a Freemasonry judge. His name is Vicari. Jean-Pierre Vicari from Bern. He's part of the Freemasonry lodge Le Neuf Sir, most dangerous in the world. And uh, it's a weird name, Vicari. I mean, what does it mean? Well, the name Vicari is not Swiss, it's not German, it's not French, it's not even Italian. It's from the Vicari Forane. They were the judges in the Middle Ages that gave the order to burn the women and to torture them from the Inquisition. So this guy is still around and he's still doing the same job in the same line. They never change. The Vicari Foranei. Still the same. And they... They're the ones that won. So they're still around, you see. And all the other people died around and he's still doing these miserable things he's doing, this Vicari. Hundreds of years, the descendants of the Vicari Foranai, and he's still there. This house here, they really wanted to make sure everybody understood it. The triangle of the Freemasons, this is an Oberberg in Canton Bern. You see, on this side, they don't have it. Huh? It's just a symbol. The sun hieroglyphics, it's all over. There and there. And there, uh, and again, you see in the middle they have the triangle, on the other side they don't have it, so it's not for construction, uh, constructive uh, interest or something. Yeah, and I wanted to tell you about the, uh, the Ku Klux Klan. They're also from Switzerland, I mean, these, we've all seen the, uh, the black sheep uh, pictures, it was all over the world. They have three white sheep kicking a black one. You know, the, uh, the, the drawing of it. Uh, these people have a lot of hatred. And when they emigrated to the United States, they formed the Ku Klux Klan. And the Swiss, they have officially in the parliament the KKK. Like the French have Liberté, Fraternité, Égalité. The, the Swiss, they have uh, the KKK. That means consens, concordance, compromis. That makes KKK. And the symbol of the Ku Klux Klan is a red underground with a, uh, with a white cross in it. And the... Uh... So what does it mean, the Ku Klux Klan? Ku is from the German... It's not English and it's not Latin either. Ku is from the German word Ku, a cow. They took the H away. Klan, uh, Klux is from the German word Glocke. Or the, uh, the meaning, the bells. They just Englified it, so... You know, and uh, so it matches into KKK as well. And the clan, yeah, we understand it, it's a tribe. So what is this cowbell's tribe? Well, you know, in Switzerland, every cow has a bell around her neck, which is really Machiavellic and total control. The farmer knows at any moment, where's my damn cow and what is she doing? In other words, where's the damn nigger and what is she doing? Excuse me my lingo, because I don't think like this. Um, yeah. So, they definitely are from Switzerland. They have a long tradition of hating people. They hate the Europeans, they hate everybody. And they're so smart with their banking system and everything. And, um, yeah, well, most Swiss and Germans who emigrated to the US, they went to the southern states. That's why the Americas, they had a civil war. <laughs> like the First World War and the Second World War. The English with the Germans, you know. It's all the same thing. And the Swiss, they have more power in the, in the US than the other way around. 
and uh, look at the American Legion as well you know they have the the Templars cross in it as well yeah. all right oh well look at it the pyramid and the Sun hieroglyphics Schindler it's in all the uh, the enterprises they show whether they, uh, if they're pharaonic or not